Hey, it's Ernest from Trip Astute. In this video, we're doing a gear review of the Bose QuietComfort 20 earphones, a portable but effective way to block out unwanted noises when traveling. A few months ago, I did a video on how to sleep on a plane. In that video, I mentioned that I didn't use noise canceling headphones since I felt like they were uncomfortable to wear. I had a cheaper pair of noise canceling headphones about 10 years ago that I bought for my work travel and it ended up gathering dust since I didn't like them. Not only were they uncomfortable and ineffective at blocking noise, but they also took up a lot of room in my bag. Fast forward to my birthday this year and I got a pair of Bose QuietComfort 20 earphones. These are the earphone or earbud version of Bose's popular QuietComfort headphones. I've had some time to use them, so in this video, I wanted to share my review of them as well as some tips when using a noise canceling headphone or earphone. But first, if you're new here, I wanted to welcome you to our channel. Trip Astute is a travel channel that is focused on sharing ways to make travel easier, affordable, and more enjoyable. Traveling can be stressful and expensive, so we're looking for ways to help you maximize your experience through travel tips, points and miles, and innovative gear. If that resonates with you, please consider subscribing. To start off, let's go through the features of the Bose QuietComfort 20 earphones. Number one, noise cancellation. Okay, this one is obvious, but I was impressed by how well they block out noise. I used them a few days ago on a phone call, and when I turned off the noise cancellation, I was shocked to hear a gardener outside of our apartment complex with a leaf blower. It completely blocked the sound. And when I was on the plane, the engine sound was nearly silent. I didn't have the ability to test it against a pair of Bose noise canceling headphones, but I would expect it to be a little less effective than the larger headphones that cover your ears. Though it's a trade-off that I'm willing to make in favor of portability. This leads me to number two, portable size. This was a huge feature for me. I actually carried my regular video editing headphones on my trip to England in May, and it took up so much room in my bag. What I love about these earphones is that they're tiny. The case is about five and a half inches long by three inches wide and about one and a half inches thick. It's so much easier to fit this in my bag while conserving space for my other gear. Number three, battery life. The earphones are rated to last 16 hours and charge within two hours with the included micro USB cable. This should cover you for most long flights. Plus most airplanes used for longer flights have power plugs at your seat for your electronics. Number four, ear adapters. Not everyone's ears are the same size. Bose includes three sizes with your earphones so you can determine the best fit for you. The adapters have wings that fit in your ear cavity to keep the earphones from falling out. Number five, phone calls. Like many other earphones, the set has an integrated microphone that allows you to use them for calls. You can use a noise cancellation while on a call, but I don't believe that the noise cancellation extends to the microphone so your person you're calling will still hear noises if you're in a loud environment. Number six, remote control. The earphones allow you to control your volume and music. There are three buttons on the front of the remote. There's a volume up, volume down, and a center button that toggles between different controls. Pressing it once starts and stops your music or phone call. If you double click it, it skips forward. If you triple click it, it skips backwards. Number seven, aware mode. On the side of the remote is one additional button. The button turns on a mode that reduces the noise cancellation in order for you to hear things like traffic, airline gate announcements, and conversations. This allows you to keep your earphones on instead of having to constantly remove them in order to hear things around you, which is very useful when traveling. Number eight, available in two versions. The earphones come in either an iOS or Android and Samsung version. I was hoping that the iOS version would include an integrated lightning port adapter for iPhones and iPads, but it just has the standard headphone jack. I know you Android folks are laughing right now. There is also a wireless version of the earphones called the Quiet Control 30. I actually prefer the wired version since I wanted to use the earphones when traveling to do some video editing. What I found is that there's a slight lag when using wireless headphones and earphones. Also, I wanted to be able to plug into the in-flight entertainment systems, and in order to do that, I had to use a wired set. Overall, I really like these earphones, and I'm curious to see how they perform when traveling on a long flight. Maybe they'll even help me fall asleep on the plane. Well, we'll see what happens on my next long trip. Most of all, I really like that they take up so little room in my carry-on bag. I've been struggling lately with all the gear that we're carrying, so any reduction in weight is a move in the right direction. The earphones cost $250, so they are pricey. It's definitely an investment, but if you're looking for an alternative to the bulky noise-canceling headphones that you see most people using, these might be a great fit for you. 
Lastly, I wanna share some tips if you decide to get noise canceling earphones or headphones. Number one, adapters for iOS users. If you opt to get a wired version and you're an iOS user, make sure you bring along a lightning port adapter. On our last trip to Zion National Park, I forgot to pack one, so I couldn't use it with my phone on our short flight. I was pretty disappointed. And yeah, I know you Android users are shaking your head and smiling right now. Number two, sharing earphones. There have been a few times in the past where Fiona and I have shared earphones, especially when we've forgotten to bring an extra pair. We found out that this does not work well with noise canceling earphones. I don't know what it is, but having the noise cancellation in just one ear was really disorienting. Instead, I would recommend using a splitter and two earphones or headphones if possible. You can get splitters for very cheap off Amazon. Number three, sensitive audio and video work. I mentioned earlier that the Bluetooth headphones and earphones are not the best choice if you plan to use them for any sensitive video or audio work. This is due to the slight lag in the audio when it's being transmitted from your device. Also, I would add that noise cancellation is generally not recommended when editing videos or audio too, since it's not an accurate representation of your audio output levels. While I use mine for work when traveling, I know that I need to double check my videos without the noise cancellation in order to make sure that the audio quality and levels are acceptable. Number four, noise canceling discomfort. One thing that you should be aware of when purchasing a noise cancellation system is that a percentage of people tend to feel dizzy or disoriented when using them. There are several articles from travel bloggers and publications discussing the issue. Just make sure that if you purchase a pair that you have the ability to return it if necessary. I feel completely comfortable when wearing mine, but like I mentioned earlier, I definitely felt weird when I tried to share the earphones with Fiona by using it in only one ear. Do you use noise canceling headphones or earphones? If so, please share your experience below. I've included Amazon links in the video description. Trip Astute does get a percentage if you use our link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help us to continue building content for our channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give us a thumbs up consider sharing our video with others who might benefit from our content. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.